वेलकम टू द टॉपिक किंगडम मोनेरा फ्रॉम बायोलॉजिकल क्लासिफिकेशन एच एस फर्स्ट ईयर फर्स्ट लेट एस सी द बेसिक कैरेक्टरिस्टिक्स ऑफ किंगडम मोनेरा दे आर प्रोकैरियोटिक दे आर यूनिसेलुलर एंड मोस्टली बैक्टीरिया आर इंक्लूडेड इन दिस किंगडम दे शो एक्सटेंसिव मेटाबोलिक डाइवर्सिटी दे मे बी फोटोसेंथेटिक केमोसेंथेटिक एंड इवन हेटेरोट्रॉफिक आफ्टर दिस कैरेक्टरिस्टिक्स नाउ लेट्स मूव ऑन टू द डिफरेंट टाइप्स ऑफ बैक्टीरिया बेस्ड ऑन देयर शेप देर आर फोर मेन टाइप्स कोकस इज फेरिकल शेप बेसिलस इज रॉड शेप वाइब्रियम विच इज कॉमा शेप स्पायरिलम और स्पायरिला इज स्पायरल शेप फ्लेजिला इज मेनली फाउंड इन द स्पायरल शेप बैक्टीरिया ये डायग्राम तो सहयरे आम कम्पेयर कर पारो द डिफरेन्ट शेप्स नेमलि कोकस वाइब्रिय बेसिलस एंड स्पायरिलम Along with two similar shapes, Cocobacillus and Spirochip. Now let's move on to Archibacteria. Archibacteria means ancient bacteria which can withstand harsh habitats. Here are three types of bacteria: Halophile, Thermophile, and Methanogen. Halophile, they live in extreme salty areas, and the word "halo" itself means salty. Thermoacidophile, they choose hot springs, and we can relate the term "thermo" with hot. Methanogens they are found in marshy areas got of ruminant animals like cows and buffaloes and they can produce methane this is the reason why gobar gas is produced from cow dung archibacteria can withstand harsh habitats because of their different cell wall structure next we will see about eu bacteria the word eu means true that means these bacteria are actually considered as true bacteria they have a rigid cell wall made up of peptidoglycan Their metabolic process may be chemosynthetic autotrophic, photosynthetic autotrophic, and even heterotrophic. Now let's move on to the chemosynthetic U bacteria. They can oxidize inorganic substances such as nitrates, ammonia, nitrites, etc., and they produce ATP, which is adenosine triphosphate, from the energy released by oxidizing those inorganic substances. They are important in recycling nutrients such as nitrogen, phosphorus, iron, and sulfur. that is they are part of the biogeochemical cycles which include these elements so these bacteria help in the transit of inorganic to organic substances moving on to photosynthetic eu bacteria for example cyanobacteria they are also called blue green algae they have chlorophyll a like green plants that is why they can perform photosynthesis they may be unicellular colonial or filamentous they may live in fresh water marine water or they may be terrestrial Colonies are surrounded by gelatin or a mucilaginous sheath. That means when these bacteria are present in colonies, they are covered by a gel-like substance. Some of them, like Nostoc and Anabina, have heterocysts, which are cells capable of fixing atmospheric nitrogen. Finally, let's come to heterotrophic U bacteria. These are the most abundant decomposers of the world. Some of them may be pathogenic and cause diseases like cholera, typhoid, tetanus, and citrus canker. Sariota disease, which to C or T occurs, starts here. Go to the monotrophic level. Okay, very good. The next topic picked up from NCERT is the division of bacteria, which occurs mainly by fission. Here in the diagram, we can see a single bacteria dividing into two daughter cells by the process of fission. यार पाशते एट टपिक एन सी आर टीत इनक्लूड कर आंडार बेक्टेरिया हुई इज माइक्रोप्लाजमा दिज आर दर्गेनिजम हुईच लैक सेल वाल दे आर भेरि स्म लिविंग सेल्स दे आर एनरबिक एंड दे मे बी पेथजेनिक टू प्लेन्स एंड एनिमेल्स फर एग्जाम्पल डिजिजेज लाइक निमोनिया आर कज बर्गेनिजम हुईच फल आंडार द केटेगरी अफ माइक्रोप्लाजमा सो देट वज अल एबाउट द किंगडम मनेरा हुईच इज इनक्लूडेड इन द एन सी आर टी टेक्सट बुक At the end, let us move on to the fact of the day. Pollination by honeybees is called hymenopterophily. That is, when flowering plants are pollinated with the help of honeybees, it is called hymenopterophily, which is easy to remember taking the help of the letter H. Hymenoptera is actually a large order of insecta which includes honeybees. That was all for today's topic. If the video was beneficial, then please leave a like below. and also don't forget to subscribe my channel to get more videos on simple explanations of the topics included in hs syllabus i'll be back with another video thanks for watching